In this video, we are going to look at troubleshooting the LME04 load limiting device fitted to PH cranes. As an aid to fault finding, the PH crane and LME04 circuitry contain a number of LEDs that can help determine any faults. A troubleshooting chart that explores faults relating to LED operation can be found in the Operating and Maintenance Manual. So let us start by assuming that no crane functions are available and all the LEDs are off. This will generally be a power supply fault, and if we look at the chart in the manual, we see that the suspected faults are no voltage supply or an inverted supply, a faulty emergency cutoff button, a faulty key switch, or a faulty electronics card. The manual then suggests a number of possible solutions to rectify the problem. These are check that the battery is charged and its connections are secure, check that all the crane fuses are intact, check and replace the controller card if necessary. We will now troubleshoot some other faults, all of which can be found in the manual. The crane does not work, the relays seem to operate unsteadily and the LEDs flicker. This generally indicates a low voltage supply and will usually be rectified by charging the battery. The crane doesn't function and green LED D19 flashes. This indicates a pressure transducer error. The number of flashes helps identify where the fault lies. Paragraph 4.7 in the manual lists the flash codes, and paragraph 7.2 onwards describes what action to take to trace and rectify the fault. None of the crane functions work, and the yellow LED D21 flashes. This will normally indicate an electronic card error. Once again, refer to paragraph 4.7 to determine the faulty area from the number of flashes. No crane functions and the red LED D20 glows steadily. This may be due to too heavy a load with the current boom extension, incorrect calibration of the load limiter, a faulty pressure transducer. Rectifying this fault will obviously depend on the cause. Retract the boom if the lifting movement is locking or recalibrate the load limiter intervention point as outlined in paragraph 4.2. If this can't be done, the pressure transducer may be faulty. If no crane functions are available and the green LED D3 is off, this will generally signify that the electronic card has no power supply or that it is damaged. First, check the power and connections to the card. If they are OK, the card probably needs replacing. No crane functions and green LED D10 is off means the electronics card is damaged and needs replacing. Finally, if once again there are no crane functions but the yellow LED D21 lights in a four flash sequence, then suspect one of the following. Moisture or water affecting one of the micro switches inside the control panel a defective or incorrectly wired microswitch that provides a closed instead of normally open connection, moisture on one of the electronics cards. To rectify this fault, you'll need to do one of the following. Access the microswitches and dry them. Check microswitch operation and connections to confirm a normally open condition. Dry off the electronics cards. If this doesn't work, you may need to replace the electronics card. Penny Hydraulics offer a full and comprehensive crane fitting and maintenance service at our purpose-built facility in Chesterfield, Derbyshire. Alternatively, we have a nationwide network of bodybuilder partners. Please remember, current legislation requires that each item of lifting equipment must be thoroughly examined at least once every 12 months by a competent person. Our planned maintenance programs will ensure safe, reliable use of equipment and full compliance with current legislation.